Uh, good afternoon or good morning or good evening anytime you watch this uh, video this is this is 216 computer aided a uh, computer hardware maintenance and repairs two sorry for the uh break in um, a lecture and uh, lab. Uh, we have just returned from the Easter break. <clears throat> we are supposed to have had a class before the Easter break. Now, I'll be doing this video for <clears throat> this year's 216 computer hardware maintenance and repairs too, so as to make up for the lost um, time. Okay. Um, I will quickly look at installing Windows 7 today. We should have done this last week. But I'm going to quickly see how we can cover all that we have missed. Now I'm going to share my screen. Um, make sure that uh, you have registered on module. I keep on emphasizing. Uh, make sure you are checking module regularly in case we have. Um, any in case you have to do any assignments or any other activities. Okay, so I am um, do now. Let me share my screen so that you can see. Um, I'll be adding the other videos that I'm going to add. Let me quickly look at this. Okay. Now I will be sharing my screen now. Yeah, let me share my screen. Okay. Um, okay, I'm sharing my screen now. Um, we have done, uh, we have started with um, operating system. So I'm going to quickly look at the installation of Windows 7, which will help us to begin to look at the details. When you want to find out the file system, the system files, and you want to know, you need to be able to install the operating system. So we have started with Windows XP. We're going to skip Windows Vista because it's not very popular. We're going to Windows 7, Windows 7, and uh, we may have to skip Windows 8 too and go to Windows 10 because of the time constraint. Now I'm going to quickly look at uh, this step-by-step -step guide to install Windows XP and Windows 7. Um, let me quickly look at that and see how that can help us. Uh, quickly, we'll look at it very briefly before we uh okay let me bring it here um let's look at it briefly okay now this is a a pdf file that you need to download and go through is there on the module uh make sure you you have uh, time to go through it okay now this is uh 
Windows XP, which we have already done uh, creating. Now I'm now into Windows 7 installation, how to step by step. Now, performing a new installation on Windows 7, we have uh, three basic types of clean installation procedure. Install on a brand new disk or computer system. That means you have a brand new computer system with a brand new disk on which, I mean, I mean hard disk on which no operating system has been installed before, okay? Or you need to install on already used hard disk or a hard disk that has been, uh, that is currently having something on it, probably a corrupt operating system or operating system you don't need again. <clears throat> So you may need to you have to erase the disk for to you know partition format and then you now install or you may want to install on a new directory for dual booting now this is a bit uh, complex uh what what we normally do is we suggest creating two partitions so that uh on a new directory if you have the same uh type if you have a windows type of operating system to install on directory may be very difficult because uh, Windows look at partitions to really organize its work, I mean, its files. So you may consider installing on different partition. So that is that. So if you intend you use either of the first two methods, be sure your computer can boot from a DVD. You know, most newer computers support booting from DVD drive. Or you can also use a flash drive and put the image of that window seven version you want to install. So normally window seven DVD is bootable and should run the setup program. Now, uh, let me see if I can show you, um, if I can show you a dvd i mean that okay now this is a copy of the windows 7 installation disk you can use if you want to install from the disk the dvd like this you just put into your cd uh, dvd drive okay this is a copy you can use if you want to install with the uh, from the DVD. Now, um, we, we we are going to actually install from an ISO image using um, um, VirtualBox, as we have said earlier. VirtualBox, virtual machine software can help us to do a lot of things. We have installed Windows XP on VirtualBox. Now, we're going to install Windows 7 also VirtualBox using our um, but uh, using the Windows 7 ISO image. Now, the solution takes about uh, takes about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the speed of your machine. And so, you may discover that I may be, uh, you know, pausing the recording so that it won't be too long, so that you can see the process. So um, now, Windows 7 automatically applies the network or new technology file system formats to any of these partition on which it is installed during the clean installation. So now we're doing a typical clean installation procedure. If you are installing into an empty partition and you can put in an operating system that is supported from the, for the purpose of setup, um, you know, just install the DVD and choose install now. Now, if Windows doesn't detect DVD automatically, you must maybe you need to run setup program. Uh, we actually using, um, uh, you know, we are we are we are taking the, we are we are we are, we are taking the, the the scenario of, uh, you know, new hard drive, uh, and then we're going to uh, see what we're going to do, so, uh, new system, and then to start from the beginning. So um, you can also do. Um, Network installation, which we we, don't, we we are not doing now. 
Now, all versions of Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit are on the same CD, on the same DVD. So you can decide to uh, use them. The problem that you enter during the setup, we, ask, we determine which actual version of Windows 7 you end up with. Uh, so make sure you keep your Windows 7 DVD and put it in the same location after you have performed the installation. Now, look at um, uh, it will be useful for repairs of all kinds later. Now, installing with the seven step by step, this is at the step. Once you install with the seven, follow the following step. You need to check what type of computer processor you have for that. Uh, check your BIOS, similar settings to know the type of processor. And jump on and both support at the 2B, 64 bit of the system. Okay, now follow the procedure. Note your processor type inside your Windows 7 disk in the CD ROM or DVD. Reboot your computer as you monitor, you know, goes up, then keep pressing the loop key. And after then you see BIOS picture, then you can select uh, first boot from. It is, if it is from hard disk, make it a boot from DVD or CD ROM. After you have done that, then you can press F10 then to save, and then wait for some time. Set up will now boot from the CD. In, but in, on some laptop, you can actually select it from, uh, you know, when the system is booting and select whether it's going to boot from CD or from hard drive. Now, after some time, you'll be asked language and then you follow. So we're going to short, we're actually going to do that now. So you just read this for the sake of getting uh, familiar with it. Now, what are we going to do? Let me quickly see. Um, okay, when you finish, you need to, um, you know, complete your installation. Uh, you need to analyze the deletion. You need to now install hard, a driver for the hard drive or for the hardware on your system. And then you also need to install a good antivirus and other application software you need. So I'm going to go into the practical session now. Now, follow me quickly <clears throat> for the next 30 minutes, there about. Now, I'm going to share, I'm going to do a new share. Uh, let me stop this sharing. <clears throat> Now I'm going to start. Okay, I'm starting the, I want to start the, the virtual box now. From my desktop, the Oracle VM virtual box. Okay, and I'm going to share it now. Okay, <clears throat> so let me share my screen now. I'm already logged at the virtual box. Uh, so let me share. Okay, let me share. Yeah, this is my password box. Okay, I believe you can see my screen now. Now, this is my virtual box screen. And uh, okay, I don't want to cover the screen. So. Now you can see, if you are seeing my screen now, you will see that we have installed Windows XP on that and it is powered off. No, so now it's not taking any resources and uh, you can see it using um, 512 MB optical drive and all that. And you can see it's 32 bit. So now we're gonna start, I want to do a new, I'm gonna start with new. So we're starting on the same virtual box. And we're going to do we're going to type Win 7. Win 7. So automatically it's trying to detect that. And it's uh, selecting 64 bits. Yeah, let's take it stop 64 bits. Then um, I can say next. Now it's. it's uh, Trying to take two, 
two gig out of the memory that we have on the system. We have about eight gig on the system. So it's taking about uh, two gig of the RAM. Allocated to the virtual machine, next. Now we're creating the virtual hard drive now. Now we are using the virtual box, this image, because um, we are not uh, intending to use other virtualization software to access this. Uh, if you're trying to use uh, other virtualization software like uh, VMware, like other uh, virtualization software that is not um, Oracle VM virtual box, you may need to select uh, virtual hard disk so that they can also see, or virtual machine disk so that they can see. But virtual box disk image can be accessed by Oracle VM virtual box. And so we accept that as the default. Now, we're still looking at the dynamically allocated of piece size. We are accepting dynamically allocated because of the advantage, okay? As I explained in the first uh, installation of uh, Windows XP. Now, you can see it's taking about um, 32 gig out of that. Now, it's going to be dynamically allocated. So that means it's not going to take 32 gig at, at, I mean, at a shown, you know, immediately. It's going to do check off use whatever Windows 7 we take now. So that's advantage of a dynamically allocated uh, disk size. But if it is fixed, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to grab 32 gig, 32 giga, gig, gigabytes immediately and reserve it. Even though it's not going to be used immediately, but it's not going to be accessible to any other, you know, software. So that's the advantage of that, of uh, what I mentioned, the um, of being of of using a um, uh, dynamically allocated. So we're going to create this now. Now it has done that. Now the next thing is to start the installation. But before you start the installation, go to the storage and check where your window will be installed from. So if it's from, if it's from Opsica Drive, make sure you've already put your Windows 7 CD there, but I'm installing from Windows 7 ISO, which is I've already put on a folder on my system, I mean, on my hard drive. I've put it in a particular uh, folder and I've already selected it. So you have to look for that folder. For instance, if you click here, and you cannot see, you click, you go to choose a disk file, and then you go to where it is, then you select it, and you say open. Now it will open, and then you will see it as the, uh, the place you'll be installing from. So from now, uh, the rest are okay. Uh, you can see I have a two gig RAM for this uh, installation, I have a two gig uh, for the um, virtual disk that I've been installing on and uh, the rest are there. Um, and so, and it's 64 bit. So I can start now. Okay. I can start the installation now. So the installation is starting now. So I'm starting the virtual machine on which the Windows 7 will be, yes. So if you are seeing it now, yes, it's starting the virtual machine now. And then, uh, okay, yes. So if you are seeing me now, yes. So we are using the first one is uh, showing that it is uh, 32 bits, 64 bits. So we're just going to accept. I'm going to press enter to accept the first selection and then it's loading now it's loading um let me see whether uh, yes let me see whether uh, my controls can be seen okay i don't know whether <clears throat> my screen is being displayed on the <clears throat> on this on the video let me be sure that uh, okay let me do another share okay yeah yes so <clears throat> you can see now that is the screen 
it started now you you can uh, enter your language or whatever or click next so uh, we are ready to install now um time and currency the keyboard us we just leave that and then we we'll go then here you can install now or you can you can check this to know to check what you need to know before installing windows you want to repair your computer this is where you go for instance if there's a problem with your windows 7 and you don't want to do a clean installation you can repair the computer for instance you have some documents on that system and you have some software already installed on that system so it's very very important that you try to repair your computer because it really helps so that you'll be able to uh you know regain your files and your and your and your software application software that you already have on that system instead of doing a clean uh installation where you you will lose uh, whatever is there because you're going to do partition you're going to do formatting and all that and so here we are just going to click install now uh, clicking install now process so setup is starting Okay, now we have already talked about the differences between, um, maybe I may need to uh, bring it down here so that you can see. Sorry, I have to reshare again. That may be, okay. Sorry for that uh, break. Now, I want to bring this one down here, okay. Now you can see I want to do a 64 professional, okay? 64, I'm going to do a 64 bit professional. Uh, you have other ones here. Um, we recommend uh, these are different types you, you can install. So we're actually doing uh, 64 bit professional uh next professional version allows you to do a lot of things it's more useful for programmers for um professionals to do a lot of um you know um settings that will you know uh, help them to develop programs test their programs uh, web server or other so many of these things are available on windows pro 7 professional and above but for the home basic all that you may not have such opportunity okay next now this is where we we'll do this one the first one is for upgrade this one is now for custom advanced so this is where we need to do partitioning now as i have already done in windows um, xp so i will just use this for a whole partition so i'm just i'm just going to select it and then i'm going to say drive option i'm just going to say um new okay i'm going to accept everything i don't need to divide into two because this is windows 7 just apply and then by the time it creates it you will see it has already created uh, it will reserve a partition for system reserve and that's part and then partition two will be primary uh, 31.9. And then we may also need to format it. Um, if, if you click next, it will format also. But well, let me see if I can format. Uh, let me see. Okay, so I can just say next, that's formatted. So it's now starting the installation. Uh, as you can see, I may have to pause the, 
the recording for a time so that we can gain time for the recording uh, so that the file will not be too big. So, but just budget between uh, 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your on this on the speed of your system. Uh, it may it may go to 45 minutes also. So just be ready for that. So, at it's expanding window files at zero percent. I will uh, stop. I will pause the recording for a while so that. Okay, you can see it's now four percent. It's moving gradually now, four percent. It's five percent now. Now it's about 10, 11 percent. 10, 11 percent. It's gone to 12 percent now. So I will wait until it gets to 50 before I record again. Okay, it has reached about 29% now, 30%. Um, Now it's about 37%. About 37, 38%, okay. Okay, it's about 46% now. It's moving towards 50. Uh, then it will be to reach. Okay, it has reached 50 now. So I'll just 15 now. So from here, I'll I'll pause it. I'll pause recording so that it gets to 100, and then from there, we we'll continue. The following on following the installation process. Okay. Now it's about 62. So we are still. Ammonia address is 100%. From the 100%, it will become faster and it will almost uh, it will be rounding up. And it will... So, as you can see, it started with copying window files. Now it's expanding window files. Now, from there, it will move to installing features. Then it will move to installing objects. Then it will move to completing installation. Okay, right now it's about 74, uh, moving to 75. So um, we're gaining time. You have to be patient until it finishes and gives you the screen to say next, next, next. Okay, now it's about 88%, so it's close to 100. So very soon we will expect it to get to 100 and uh, finish up with uh, expanding windows and to move to installing features and installing updates, the completing installation. So let's be. Okay, now it's about 93%. So you are close to 100%. I will be patient for this. Uh, you know, I have to be pausing the video recording so that it doesn't take much. Time. So it has taken uh, roughly 30, I mean, 25 minutes now, um, from my estimation. It's now 93%. So, okay, now is now you can see it's 98%. So let's watch how it gets to 100% and what happens after it gets to 100%. So you can see it's still on expanding window files now. So it is when that reaches 100% that you now move to installing features 
installing updates and completing installation before Windows 7 will be ready and we can go on probably setting the account I mean creating a user account and the rest so let's see how long it takes to from here to reach 100 percent Okay, it's now 99%, let's see. It's back. Okay, it's now 100%, 100%. So from here, to be moving to, um, yeah, it's now 100%. Now, that's all information we need right now. Computer will restart several times during the installation, okay? So you can see here, it will go into installing features, Installing updates and then we finish up. Yeah, so it has finished that. So now installing features, you can see. Installing updates, because so these ones are very fast now. So you can see it takes a lot of time in on the expanding window files uh place so you can see we expect that the installation will soon be true Okay, so it has started. Okay, it's restarting the, it's restarting now. Okay, we cannot press any key to boot from CD now because it's gonna boot from already installed uh, OS on the hard drive. So if you press any key, it's gonna to try to go back to the, to, the, to the CD you are installing from. But now you leave it to boot from the, from the, hard drive where it has already finished copying all the files. Now you can see, now we're starting Windows now. So we can see how straightforward installing Windows 7 is. We need to see everything. Okay, setup is updating registry settings. Okay, Windows uses registry. So let's take note of that. So you can see all the devices on the virtual machines are showing CD, speaker and all that you can see the USB, USB, and so it's, it's, it's detecting them. So it's starting self setup is starting services now. And um, okay.
Okay, so it's completing installation now. It's completing installation. It has finished installing updates, uh, installing features and updates, and now it's completing the installation now. So let's see the next stage. Okay, you can see it's almost finishing installing Windows. You can see the two stages. The stage one is collecting information. Stage two is, inform, is uh, installing Windows. So the collecting information has been done. It's now on the installing Windows part and you can see the progress so far. It has copied uh, Windows files, expanded Windows files, installed features, installed update. It's now completing the installation. So we have to still be patient and see how far. Now, so that we continue after restarting your computer. So it's going to restart the computer. So you can see it's on the virtual machine that is doing all these things. So you can imagine if I have to do this um, uh, practical on, uh, on, on a system and I'm using Zoom to, to do. So it's, it's, going to, it's going to cut off the Zoom and, and uh, you know, so you can see that's why virtual box uh, or virtual machine is very, very handy. So you can see uh, we cannot, you can see we are not booting from, we're not pressing any key because we are booting from the hard drive. So take note of that. Don't press any key, make sure you boot from the hard drive because everything now is on the hard drive. Now it's finalizing the installation now. Now we're going to start uh, rounding up now because it has finished uh, the installation. Okay, let me bring it out so that we can see it properly. Uh, let me bring this one up here. Okay. Okay. So it's starting Windows now. Starting Windows now, so it will soon be true. Okay, setup is preparing your computer for first time for first use. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. Okay. So you can see the beauty of Windows 7. So that is checking video performance, okay? To check all of this as finalizing the setup. Okay, that is it. Voila, now we are now in the user account uh, setting. So, you have to type whatever. So I'm going to just type, um, uh, I'll just type, um, um, I'll type, um, which name would I use? Let me just say user. Um, or let me just say DCS216 user. Okay. So I will say next. Now, type a password. Now, this is recommended that you create a password, okay, so that you can protect your system. But here, since this is a lab, something, I'm not going to put password because I can forget the password. But if you're actually using it, um, installing on a system, make sure you create a very strong password and remember your password and keep it safe. Normally, you can combine digit, I mean, letter with 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 digits or figures or special characters but make sure you know make sure you you can remember them so i'm not going to put any password now i'm just going to put next okay 
Now, this is, uh, um, I'm not going to put any of these things. I'm just going to say next because it will I want us to put the Windows key to activate. Um, you can use the way that you can install important updates only. Okay. And then you can set your time to, to West Africa plus one, West Central Africa. Okay. Today's date is uh, 6 April. And then the time on the virtual box is not correct. So we are, we are just around the four, um, we're around about uh, 4 p.m. here, about 4.32 p.m., okay? Yeah. So I'm going to say next. Um, so select your computer current location. Um, the computer is connected to a network. We yeah. have Windows automatically apply the correct network setting based on computer. Yeah. So let me say this is a work network where I'm in the, the institute. So um, I, we use a work network. Because it's already getting uh, some link, you can see. Yes, we're able to establish a link through NAT to my network connection. So you can see it's using NAT. You can see using NAT. Okay, so Windows finalizing of settings and then uh, I will upload the video as soon as it is completed. Thank you for your patience uh, for this uh, Windows 7 installation practical. I will do other, we'll have other classes, our uh, normal um, lecture classes. we we'll discuss more about computer maintenance, computer hardware maintenance and repairs uh, with, our, with focus on operating system and software. Okay, welcome, 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 welcome. When the same professional has been successfully installed and preparing our desktop, now we are good to go. So make sure you follow these steps and write your own lab report for submission. Uh, latest by Friday, okay? Of this week. Make sure you go through the video. If you have any question, um, feel free to contact me. When we have the next lecture, we'll discuss more on uh, issues that may arise from this um, lab session. Thank you for your patience. Uh, it's preparing you a desktop. Okay. Setting up personalized setting, Windows, Microsoft Window Media Player. This setting up personalized setting for Microsoft Window Media Player and others. So just follow the, just be patient. Setting up personalized setting for the browser.
Okay. At last, at last. Here we are. It's now, we now have the desktop. Okay, you can see this is where we're going to stop now. Maybe next time we're going to explore this, uh, the computer and all the rest. We're going to see a lot of things. Uh, you can see, so this is our, uh, our Windows 7, these things. So you may want to um, look at your property, the property of your computer. Uh, these are the things that you may want to see. Okay, so you can see this is uh, uh, the property we have here. You see, you can see that. So uh, these are all the things that uh, you will need to activate Windows uh, with the product key. So thank you very much for this for your time. Our time is over. I will have to stop now. Then next time we can look at other other things, um, installing drivers and all that. That's what we're going to do in the next video. Thank you very much. Um,